I'm about to get it now. About to get it now. I was walking through the storm, I see the light now. Lord, I see the light now. And give us in the loot. And give us in the loot. And give us in the loot. And we back, baby. Episode three of the game. Bam, bam, bam. What did you do? I'm sure that's exactly what you're thinking because things look different. Uh, yeah, we have to let go of Zanetta. Uh, <laughs> Don't do that. We just couldn't take it anymore. She was way more famous than we were, so we were like, that's it, cut. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, man. We no, we kidding, guys. No. She, she was busy today. We mm -hmm. Our schedules didn't necessarily align, but she sends her regards. She's out there changing the world. We yes. love you, Zanetta. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, okay. Back to the show, though. You know what it is. It's where we sit down and have a conversation about... The game, the good, mm -hmm. the bad, and everything in between. Yes, um, you know, some of us are actors, some of us are producers, some of us are models. <laughs> what was that word from the last show? Ambassadors. Ambassadors. Yeah, ambassador. How old? Ambassador. Ambassador. Yeah, ambassador. Yeah. That's the, that's the word. I found myself ambassador for the wrong things this, this past weekend. Mm -hmm. um, I was out partying. And I think, I think for Tulani, yeah. I got lit in an okay way, but for tools, the person who moves <laughs> in the game, uh uh. Uh uh. And I don't want to go like, too much into details as to what I did or what I didn't do, but I, I, I want to find out how alcohol works for you guys maneuvering in the game because we go to some interesting parties yeah. with some interesting people, yeah. you know, and alcohol yeah. can either work for you or against you. you yeah. Know? What's it work like for you guys? I feel like alcohol makes people fight. Like, yo, there. I mean, how many times when you're going out do you encounter a fight? Like, yeah. I mean, I've even almost been in fights, you know, because of alcohol. Really? And I never used to drink like that, you know. And then I don't know what happened. Uh, but long story short, I feel like it's not necessarily um, adding to me the brand, the things that I want to do. Yeah. Um, bro, I just smoke weed, honestly. I, yes, yeah, no, 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 no. And I'll tell you one thing, it's not often you hear, they got into a fight, wow, they were both high. Exactly. Yeah. 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 They were both high. Wow. Yeah. You just more chill when you're on weed. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, no, for me, it's all about, uh, I know how to pace myself when I drink. I always yeah. make sure to pace myself because I don't want to be messy. Because if I'm messy, people are going to see I'm messy, then I look like a bad drinker, then you're not going to invite me. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, what is that? Pacing yourself. So yeah. I always, like, I, I make sure that I drink, I know my limit. Okay. Basically. You should know your limit, guys. Don't just drink, drink, drink. And okay. Then <laughs> no. Make sure you know what you're doing. Uh -huh. It's so important to know your limit because, yeah, that's, that's what I do. So, I have this thing called liquid courage. I think we all have it, guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll some the best there's sometimes in the there's some <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. certified. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you get some big names in the in these parties sometimes, bro. And yeah. you know, you want to talk to this person, but you like. Me. So when you have that, you know, one or two shots, you're like, I man, I'm man, receive, yeah. Man. yeah. yeah. So yeah, I believe in liquid courage. So that's the only time I'll ever like really drink just to have a vibe also you know and people also i don't know when you go to parties people always expect you to drink you know you always look like the boring one if you don't if you don't i actually don't think so it. i think you look responsible when you're not the one that's drinking yeah but who wants to look responsible at <laughs> what? <all? laughs> hi i'm responsible yeah, yeah. yeah. Nah, nah, nah. Not also you don't want to look guys. irresponsible mm -hmm. either it's yeah. like something you have to balance yeah. and look I, I get what you're saying about knowing your limit uh, and I've always thought I do know my limit, but yo man, <laughs> this weekend can. showed me otherwise. Mm. And I don't know if it was because obviously since being in the house emotionally and mentally, there's a lot of stuff we're dealing with. Mm. And I find when I drink, it comes out, right? Mm. So it kind of makes me feel like if I'm dealing with those kind of things, maybe I shouldn't be drinking when I'm out, right? Rather, mm. if I'm going to drink, stay at home and knock myself up. And when I'm out and about, you know, be the sparkly water guy. I hear that. That's so responsible. Yeah. I think it's because so you're what's wrong with that? Because then he's saying now because it sucks to party sober. 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 It does. Let's just be it honest. Does. It's no, guys. No, no, come on. I have had some really good parties, bro. All I did was just smoke weed, or I had an edible, and I was though. good. But you're, you're not, not sober. sober. Okay, it's yeah, a certain type of intoxication. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Imagine yeah. sitting with smoking okay. water the whole night. That stuff is so annoying. I remember in the house. Yo, yo, like I knew there. Yeah. 
Yeah. So yeah, it's there's a certain vibe it brings, but you just need to know your limit. That's what I believe. So, yeah. I just don't know when do you know it's your limit? Because no way this is this is no way. I'm bringing this to me, right? Mm-hmm. I'm a very stubborn person. Mm-hmm. If I'm drunk, I'm ten times more stubborn. So if we're partying and I get up and I fall, right? And you're like tools. I think you've had your limit. Do you think I'm really gonna stop? Hell, I'm gonna take your drink for that. You know what I mean? So like, I, I'm trying to understand when it kicks into your own brain, where it's like, yo, I gotta stop. I think it's a discipline thing too. Yeah. Term discipline. There's a way that you have to navigate this thing. Can't be like, ah, you no, I'm great. Yeah. Give me your drink. Uh uh-uh, uh. So what should be? That's that stand up. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <That's the time. laughs> like. I go Stone Cold Steve Austin and shit. Flip, man. But no, yeah. No, dude. It, it's a discipline thing, but also it's having awareness of your body. Like, you can feel when you stand up and you're like, whoa. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you know, that, you, you're standing that. like a tower of pizza. That's when you know, okay, shit, let me have some water. Like, it's literally as simple as let me nah, have guys, a water. It's not a hack. It's, it's not it a hack. It is. It's not. It just makes you yeah. full. It makes it worse. Mm. It's no. a deep water alone, guys. Don't drink water. If you are drinking, it's it's literally the worst thing you can do. It makes you worse. For me personally, I don't get I always worse. get no. I feel like I'll be like regaining consciousness. <laughs> yeah. This alcohol one, I don't think it's ever gonna be solved. But I'm yeah. taking an ad break, but I will be right back. Trust me. Uh, <laughs> but for now, I think I think the biggest thing for me is until I'm mentally 100, mm. percent I, I don't think it's a good idea because sure. there's a lot of things that we deal with without speaking about. Right. Yeah. Yeah. One of them for me, I won't lie, since being out of the house is anxiety. Like, sure. I always feel like I've got to be stressed about something. Mm. And mm. I don't know what it is. Even if it's just chilling, it's like, yo, I'm always looking yeah. over my shoulder. I had that, actually. You had it as well? I had that. I feel like we all go through yeah. the same kind of things after the house. I think we all went through something. Yeah. And yeah. It's, it's, it's hard to reprogram yourself because you were in the house and you're, a lot of things changed. So I get it too. But don't, the worst thing you can do is try and solve that with booze. Yeah, no, I, I totally get it. And, and I'm, I'm happy that I get it. Because yeah. I could easily be a person with a knee break now. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's how some people literally function off of it. Mm. Yeah. Or they find something worse. If it's not booze, then it's yeah. a drug. Yeah. Or, you know. But okay, let's not get too deep, man. Yo, <laughs> put the tequila down. <laughs> That's the moral of the story. So I wanna firstly touch on who texted you. <laughs> it's just that I'm not, yeah. Who's that? No, it's business. Oh. It's business. Sorry, it's silent. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that needs to be a set rule. Like, if your phone rings or it goes off while we're shooting, you have to say. You have to say who. Yeah, yo, that's kind of. But that's that's easy. Easy. <laughs> I'm gonna turn my phone off every time. Okay, it's definitely gone. Uh, it's apologies. It's actually the lady's going to be joining us. Uh, she's a guest. It's going to be special, so I had to handle that. Okay. okay. It's business. I do things. Well, I do you think? So I want to chat a little bit about faking it until you make it. Because I feel like we've always heard this term being spoken about, especially as you're growing up. No, you just got to fake it. Even if you're not okay, you just got to fake it. But I feel like, especially in this industry, there are so many people that uh, I've gone through their Instagram, I see what's up, but the moment you meet them, it's like, you are a completely different person, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, but it works for their brand, and maybe there's personal things that they kind of just close off to the public. So I want to ask, what does faking it until you make it mean for you guys? Yo, I got some other crazy advice, you know? I'm not going to say that guy's name because you don't like him. But uh, no, no, now he's gonna know I don't like him because he's gonna share that advice. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> cancel that. <laughs> I don't mean, no, not like him, I just, yeah, yeah. Anyway, that, so, so, um, <laughs> so 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 old, right? like, I gave that advice. Yeah, he's <laughs> oh, okay, no, but, so I was told that because I'm a person that's very, you know, closed and reserved about myself right yeah but then i also have that ego you know the, the whole xena persona like uh for my for instance my birthday where i was stripping and shit yeah and that's my also ego so he's like you know we want more of that unfortunately if you want to really show yourself you have to give that outer ego you have to be that person 
when the lights are on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you can go back to your normal sort of self when hmm. the lights are off. So that's only because people are drawn into like difference. You know, someone that's mm-hmm. out there. You know, something that they're not, right? Exactly. So that's the faking until you make it. That's what I think it is. You hey, but I, I think I, I did, sorry, I hear what you're saying. It's like the Sasha Fierce, yeah, Beyonce, Beyonce. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But Sasha Fierce is Sasha Fierce, but Beyonce is still Beyonce. Mm. And uh, for if I bump into them, I'm not gonna be like, oh, it's Sasha Fierce. Oh, it's Beyonce. I'm gonna stop, right? Mm. I might be tools, but I'm Tulani. But for a person on the street, they don't give a damn. Mm. Um, if I'm in the mood for a hug or a picture or a conversation. Yeah. So as much as you know, there's that you switch it off. I think it's for the performance side of it. Like if I'm on stage, then tools has got to show up. But now there's the everyday life. Yeah. You know what I mean? The other day I was at a butchery buying chicken feet and someone was trying to take a picture with me. <laughs> so I'm going to pose next to the chicken feet. <laughs> is that what it is? Right? And then Tulani wants to be like, yo, not right now. Like, yeah. I'm just trying to, but mm. tools are supposed to fake it, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. Right? That's so true. I struggle with that, but you have to do it. I think that's faking until you make it. Yeah. 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 I think it's also what Re- uh, Ricky Rick, uh, rest in peace to the man, mm. spoke about on how Instagram is the, 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 the I think he says the receipts or pretty much it, it shows the life that you're not living. Yeah. Oh. Right? It's a depiction of the life you're not living. Yeah. And I was like, these are bars. But on Instagram, we represent this perfect, happy life. Well, yeah. Look what I had for breakfast. Mm. Look at, but some people even save pictures. I'll go out with lunch with you, take a picture of my food and your food, then post your food two days later. But I'll, you know what I mean? People do that. Oh. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a strategy. People will save their content on some, nah. And it makes sense. Because, I mean, now that's a whole different level of faking until you make it. Yeah. Where no peace with my lamb chops, but on the real, you just have noodles and eggs. <laughs> but on the gram, no, for real. On the gram, though, <laughs> shit, you were popping. You had that. Literally, <laughs> that's the faking until you make it. Yeah. That's the going to parties and you're broke. Yeah. yeah. There's definitely times where I've, I've walked into spaces and I look hot as fuck, but my bank account is like, yeah, you shouldn't be there, but I'm like, I'm gonna show up anyway. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because. Yeah, that's me every weekend. <laughs> and it sucks now. <laughs> Yo, bro, like the position I find myself in right now is that I have to fake it till I make it. Mm. You know what I mean? I, I, I don't have a car, right? That means I always have to catch an Uber. Mm. If someone catches me in a taxi, Yo, <laughs> you see what I mean? <laughs> but the real truth is, yeah. yo, I need to get where I'm going. Yeah. I need to get where I'm going. So right now, because I was on TV, I can't be in a taxi. Now I gotta fake it and use my last cent to catch an Uber to get to a gig. Mm. Yeah, I hear that, bro. How far are we gonna actually be real about it? And it's not fair, bro. But you also the ones... Exactly. Another thing is, <laughs> as you turn it up, <laughs> look, it's, 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 that's part of faking it till I'm, the reality of it is, I still don't have a whip, so what is the cheapest way to transport myself? It's a taxi. It's a taxi, it is. But now I'm going to yes. fake it and catch an Uber, and I'm broke by a certain point because I'm trying to keep up a certain image, but that's not the truth of it. Yeah. The truth of it, I don't have a whip, so I got to catch a taxi. Why don't you just disguise yourself? Yo, I'm hey, the fact that you have to disguise yourself is, is going on to me. Not unfair for real. Okay, like, my What's the other solution? The, 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 my biggest solution is getting on a big building and screaming that I didn't win two million. <laughs> because everybody thinks that I'm rich. I did not win. I'm still broke. I'm still a person. I don't understand. And this is a real thing. It's a real thing. Oh, you broke. Where's the big brother money? What are you talking, what are you talking about? There was one way. What are you t- Dude, it was a competition. Dude, the yeah. pressure is so real. It For is. example, can you still wear the clothes that you wore? No, I can't. You, are you serious? You, for real, guys. It's serious. Why? Because people are like, you're, you're going to be uh, I, Every exchanging. time I go out the house and I probably wear something or one, so my mom's like, you're not wearing that. Yeah, Why? Your mom says, my mom says, you know, how many times have you seen that? See, wearing it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's funny. Now that's half your wardrobe. Go on. Go on. <laughs> now you got to wear it. You have to buy new clothes. No. I, that's fucked up. It's not nice. Yeah. But, but you, 
you gotta fake it because yeah. if you don't, then you won't get into the flyers clubs or hang out with the coolest people. Mm. Yeah. So you have to fake it yeah. till you make it. No, you're right. You're right. I think there's definitely also been times where maybe I go out and I've worn an outfit that I've already posted before. I won't take pictures that day because it's like, why am I gonna post something yeah. that? If you want to, that can happen as well. Damn, fuck. Guys, Whoa. social media is ruining everything. How can a t-shirt have a one pick lifespan? <laughs> sure, <laughs> let's go eight. Yeah, let's negotiate. You know what I mean? But sometimes you can style it different. Like I, I know for females, it's very easy to to wear the same top, but then you style it different, and then you can you still post that shit, and you know it looks different. It's a different picture, a different outfit. Know, it's it's tougher for us, not mm. people. Act like you don't have washing machines at home, bro. Like. Once you wear it's it, it's clean. Like, oh, oh, maybe yeah. I loaned it out and now I have to return it mm. after having what? Nah, bro. But everybody mm. goes through this. And the faking yeah. it till you're making it is the lie behind that. Everybody acting like life is good, but it's not. Yeah. Mm. That's the real truth. Because everybody broke me. Yeah. Not everybody, but not trust me. Yo, yeah. people are dealing with a lot of shit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the country as a, as a whole. So, I mean, I'm not saying that everybody's literally broke, but everybody can't be as happy as they pretend to be. Yeah, I'll tell you that for free 99 B. Even when you're in the club, you must, you must look at the club and be like, hmm, hmm. <laughs> one out of 50% clean, you broke. <laughs> for real! Yeah. They say don't hang out with someone you look up to. Don't hang out with somebody you look up to. Because you'll see them in a different light. That's true. They'll disappoint you. They'll disappoint yeah. you. Yeah. Mm. Everybody gonna disappoint you. Yeah. Mm. Never do that. Cause you don't know what that person is. Yeah. 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 Tools. Yeah, yeah. This nigga, you don't know what he's dealing with. Yeah. You you link with him, you chill. Oh, God, this is how tools is. And you also just want me for a certain. Yeah. Like what you've seen. Of yeah. 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 Exactly. People exactly. think they know you, but you yeah. don't. You don't know this. Person. You know. Yeah. And do you know that's one of the most stressful things dealing with people that think they know you, but they have no idea. Mm. Mm. It it. So many of these stories that just pop into mind. I was looking for a t-shirt. I don't know if I've shared this with you guys. And I'm looking for a plain black t-shirt because i got to go to a party. And at this party, I just, it's a part of the outfit. Yes. I'm wearing a mask. Like those masks with hoodie. Yeah. <laughs> Get this. So my sister, uh, do you have any black t-shirts? She could recognize my voice. She was like, where are you? Are you serious? Where are you? Stop on. And I'm like, yeah, I promise you. And I mean, yo. But I just want a black t-shirt. <laughs> I don't want to be told I'm stubborn right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's real shit. But yeah. you, you can't complain about it because you step into the light knowing or thinking you know it's a part of it. Mm. Uh, until the light starts burning. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Literally. That's it, bro. Mm. That is it. Damn. The game. Um, <laughs> I've also been stressing about valuing yourself. Um, particularly like getting offers from different companies and, and uh, like in the DMs on your yeah. gram and all people booking you to come and be at their gig or yeah. at their venue. Um, how do you go about knowing your worth? Knowing your worth and, and, and mm. particularly putting a, 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 a right number. Mm. Do you get yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Like, do you start with 1.5? Is it 2.5? Is it 1,000? And for what though? And based on what? Yeah. Like, how, what do you base it off of? I don't lie, there's a lot of free shit that you need to do before you start getting paid. Like, that's the cold, hard truth of the industry. There's so many free gigs, free don-dons that you gotta do, free times where you gotta wear people's shit, you know, without them paying you, up until you get to a place where they start paying. Um, I think that there's there's two ways to do it. Um, that's the way that I've been doing it. But I know that there are other ways where maybe people blow up on another platform, and then because of that, you know, for example, from their TikToks, they now get paid for posts or this or that. <coughs> but I feel like a lot of times people expect to first, <coughs> like you must prove yourself to them first. Like, no, okay, but show us you can bring people into our club. Come play for free. You know, and then we gotta go and we gotta go gig for free. We must be there, we must pour petrol, arrive at the gig. We, we come from there in the north, we're driving there to the south. But you gotta show up. And the moment they see, okay, shit, these people actually fire, then they started investing in you. So this is from a, a DJ mixer's perspective, right? Yes. yes. What about you, Zina? You know, because you go to the club, you don't mix, but you, you've been paid for appearances, right? Yeah, I have been paid the first time I hosted. Um, I spoke to Nali. 
and she's basically the one that told me, hey, dude, you, you set the tone for yourself, basically. Mm. If you start with, ah, no, it's fine, we'll just give you drinks and meat, then you're, like, okay, okay, then you're like always going to get drinks yeah, and meat. Yeah. So you need to at least set some kind of tone of how much you want. Just shoot, try it out. If they say, hey, that's too much, then you decrease it. My mom told me a trick. If you want, if you want 5,000, you start by 7,000. And then you come back down to seven, mm. and it will go straight to five thousand. That's how you have to play it, dude. You need to know your worth as well, tools. You are on TV. You, this person, you are literally the top five, Papa, big brother. It's also about who you can bring, what you can do. Yeah, yeah. You need to think about that thing. You can't just be like, no, it's fine. I'm cool with with, with wings and 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 an absolute bottle. <laughs> nah, bro. So it's tricky for me, and I'll tell you why. Right, I, I know that I need to know my value and my worth and, <clears throat> excuse me, I've been on TV, but I think those kind of things, as long as it's not happening right now, does it really matter? Because I can say I've been on TV and I've been on radio and I've been on this and a bit, and based off of that, look, if I'm appearing at your gig, I need 15k. Mm. Right? But I can't really say that because now the heat is on the big brother thing. Nobody cares if I was on radio once upon a time, yeah. right? So, I, I say that to say this, right? To a certain extent, your track record doesn't really matter mm. when you're getting booked for these things. It's yeah. about whether or, or not you're hot right now. True. I think it does matter a little bit. You think so? Hmm. Because I don't know, because when you walk into spaces and, and they ask, okay, but what's your rate? Immediately after that, then they ask, okay, but where have you been? Like, where, where, like, yeah. where have you gigged? Because even know? when you tell them where you gig, there's still a, a question mark that can go beyond that and I'm speaking based only off of my experience, right? Yeah, yeah. So, this is a gig we did in Pretoria, 012 mm. and it was called the Veto something experience, right? Mm. And myself and Libo were the headliners. Mm -hmm. The DJ was Mo Flavor. Mm -hmm. Now Mo Flavor has an amazing track record, Breakfast mm -hmm. DJ, this and that, and that and that. What's the name of the party called? The V12 oh. celebration. Uh -huh. In bold. Yeah. Right? Yeah. More flavor was going to be there. Who do you think got paid more? The V12 guys? <laughs> or more flavor? It was the v Was it the v I highly doubt it. You think more flavor got paid more? Absolutely. Yes. I, can, I, I bet my, my, my left night more flavor got more money. And I'm not complaining. More Flavor's done a shitload of things. Yeah, but More Flavor's been in the game, guys. Yeah. And, and I see what... That's where track record Yeah, that's where the track record thing comes from. But out. then, mm. why is it not called the More Flavor? <laughs> Featuring! <laughs> Do you see the, 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 the trickiness now? Because now, the track okay. record doesn't matter. Mm. The numbers are coming in because of the veto. But was it More Flavor's party? Whose party was it? Whose party was it? Tell us. The veto party! <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Then let, if what I'm trying to say is, in those kind of situations, excuse me, that's where it gets tricky to say, okay, let's make a decision. Yeah. Let's make a decision. Yeah. That's where it gets tricky to measure yourself. Mm. Because you're walking into this knowing that it's a veto party, more flavors are going to get paid more. For me, that's confusing. But it really shouldn't be like that. Because it shouldn't be like that, right? Like, that. like, I mean, you have the more hype right now. And I'm not saying I'm not saying this because I got conned or I was ripped off. I totally mm -hmm. get it. The difference is more flavors gonna get there and actually play yeah. and entertain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But would the party be as big if it wasn't the veto thing? You know? Mm -hmm. So I'll sit there and I'll, I'll I'll get whatever I get and I'm like, okay, I, I'm glad I got this cash. All I did was rock up, get paid, drink the booze and the meat. Mm. Um, <laughs> But the, the, the true question of it, did I really get what I should have? Yeah. Because if, if, if Vito wasn't important, it wouldn't have been written at the top of that. It wouldn't have. Yeah. I guess. So is that yes. little 5K Nyana really the, 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 the... And you gotta think, these people make money. A lot of money, yeah. If they're giving you 5K, 50, Come on. Mm -hmm. I've always thought about that. And that's why I'm talking about the race thing, dog. You should know because you must think in your head, these guys are making so much cash off of you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. And I think also, um, going back to the question in terms of how do you practically build yourself or know your worth, I think also think about the venue that you're going to. So, for example, if you're going to a small venue and, for example, that place, they don't sell bottles, they just sell like the dump or whatever, mm -hmm. then take note of that, then figure out, okay, cool. 
this is that type of place where maybe they're not really coining more than 20k a night so let me ask for this much you know what i mean like you can also suss it out like if you're being asked to go play at like a i don't want to mention any places right now but like a huge ass place okay like a gonga for example, if yeah. they say come play Gonga, then you know, oh, I'm not gonna ask less than 10. Yeah, because those, 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 yes, yes. Gonga. Well, but, but you know, a person will be like, hey, my man, do you know how good playing the Gonga is gonna look at your CV? Hi, Baba. Hi. No, hey. see, that's how they did it. That's how they did it. Yeah. Yeah. And this you conversation is important because of that. Because mm. they're running a business, and it's their business to not give you a lot of money. Mm. If you're a club manager, if I'm a club manager, I need to get as little. Mm. going out and as much coming in as possible. Mm. So you need to walk into those negotiations already knowing that, look, this guy woke up this morning planning to rip me off. Mm. Not even in a bad way. I'm not hating on club management. It's, it's like a casino. Their profit yeah. is based on your loss. Yes. Ooh, yeah, true. That's deep. Right? Yeah. It's a pro- but then how do you then go into there and negotiate knowing that? And it's not even just the club things. Like, from a voiceover now. Yeah. Like, how much should I charge? Is it, is it per hour? Is it this? I know how much my agent charges for it. You know, I'm not sure if it's enough. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But like, yeah. it's it's those things. And and I think we're bringing up the questions and I'm, I'm, I'm bringing up even more so it's, it's hard to really find a, an answer to it. But it's definitely something I'm struggling with. Get a rate card, guys. Yeah. A rate card will help you. Just get a rate card. One figure the whole time. Don't negotiate. That's you. Leave it at and Ooh. ask someone who you who you trust who's maybe also in the same space like maybe this is where having a mentor even comes in yeah, but yeah. if you have someone who's also in the industry like for example i know tools also does voiceovers i'll come and be like your dog how so much are you charging how, yeah. what's a good amount for me to i wanna and then i use that amount in my rate card if you don't have it but then I'm, my answer is based off the fact that i'm tools and as hey, yeah, do you see how it gets but, but I'll account for that. I'll account for that. So if you're saying yoke, yeah, I charge twelve per twelve K per word, I'll be like, okay shit, okay. So that's tools. Divided so let me go for divided by gear. They're not that That's what it is. It's difficult. It's difficult. It's so tricky. And yeah. even if I'm standing like top five, right? Mm-hmm. Do I then say, okay, if Paul is getting ten K, then surely Gash is getting nine. Mm. <laughs> and then it's, and then, you know what I mean? And then it's eight, then it's like, oh, so I get... Yeah, you see. Yeah. Was, the trickiest thing, and I'm, I'm, I'm learning day by day. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, it's a conversation I wish yeah. more people in the industry could have. Yeah. And, and, and share it. with people. Try it and is get, trying it, like, get it wrong, get it so right. I, I say just go with one amount. 5,000. This is non-negotiable. I G. That's it. Yeah. Take it or leave it, bro. Sometimes you really need to throw that take it or leave it card, bro. I promise you, though. Sometimes yeah, yeah, yeah. you take it because you take it, it or leave it, guys. Yeah, yeah. No, see, no, because then you walk out broke, bro. Like, yeah. you could have walked out with a young 3K trial and now we're not going to buy you said, Trial and error. Then you'll learn by that. I'm guess. glad that you say that, right? I I, again, I keep revealing too much, but <laughs> we'll fix it in post. Recently got <laughs> approached by a brand, right? They're like, mm. listen. We want you to do two posts mm. and come to our gig. Yes. And our gig is going to be popping. Just being there, Jay. You mm. must know what you are like. Mm. Wow. <laughs> you know, a ticket is very costly. Wow. Yeah? We'll give you 3K. Yeah? For yeah. what? Three for, posts and to attend so an event. So it's two posts and me attending it for 3K. So I'm like, nah, 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 me. Exactly. No. But the pocket was like, nigga, yeah, because I need the spreader. So then, am I going to be formal in that situation or am I going to take that how, 3K? How much did you spend to go to that place? How much did you spend? Look, it's all still in negotiation. Okay. I, 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 haven't, I, I actually said once, you know, I was like, yo, listen, I need you to bump the cheese up to at least five, you yeah. know? Um, I mean, I, I mean. Then it's two five per post. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm saying, I'm saying. Which that, is small, by the way. No, no. It's very, very small. I agree with you. I'm saying that's a lot to do for for three k. It like, is. To post twice uh, and to come to your event. Don't say three k, Papa. Take it or leave it, guys. I promise you. Take it or leave it. Leave <laughs> Take it or leave it is okay. hard, B. Yeah. Nah, Take it or leave it when you got rent. When you got. In the four. In the four. Nah, it's, it's, it's not. 
you're gonna get other opportunities, bro. That's not gonna be. It's not the end of the world. Okay, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, you, we we have to stop thinking from a lack mindset. Yeah. Like, there's enough to go around. Remember, you're trying to build yourself, bro. That's yeah. what we're talking about. But just so you know, I feel like the whole entire industry is based on creatives living on a lack mindset. Every way, every time, you're constantly being made to believe you aren't really that good. Sure. You are replaceable. Sure. This is a favor. Mm. Oof. You know, guys, like for instance, you think Somizi says, okay, I'm happy with that figure and she leaves. No. Somizi is the type to say, no, I yeah. want this, done. That's it. Well, I'm not going to do a show. But too easy. Because uh, <laughs> I'm broke. Look, not even broke, but in the. Yo, bro, money. Money. And it's hard for me to remove the old tools mentality. I mean, I went to the house with 1,800 followers. Mm. You know what I mean? To have someone say, if I post two stories, or give me 3K, I would be like, I'll post six. <laughs> and the other three, mahala, <laughs> boy. You know what I mean? Now, I'm coming out. I said, man, dude, is this, is, this, is, this the, is this the right crap? Mm. I don't know how to order this. How does that feel? How do I feel? Like... Social media numbers. Yeah, like all of a sudden it's just like yeah. a huge pickup. Is you know how did that? Let's take it first, you know. Ah, uh, guys, you know what, dude? I don't know. Hey, I, social media is so overrated. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, okay. It's really overrated. It, I, I felt like, and there's always this constant thing of I want more followers. Mm, that's know, true. Yeah, yeah, it's a change. It's a change. Yeah, it is. Which is which is horrible. It shouldn't actually even be like that. Why is social media so important? But that's my opinion, guys. So I don't really have an opinion about that. I didn't feel it didn't make me feel any better. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, social media, people like me. That was it. Yeah, yeah. To like? Well, it was tricky for me because I came up with um, like some of the most popular humans in the country. Mm. Um, humans, did you hear what I said? Yes. In the country. <laughs> so, I mean, I always knew while I was in the house who's the, the certain people that are not popular for certain things. Yeah. I was never big on social media. So, even it being a big deal when I come out wasn't mm, so much of exactly, a thing, right? Yeah. So when I came out, it only pinched the one time because I remember we were driving somewhere and we just got our phones. So we were all logging into and it was me, Tema, and Libo. So Tema was like, Bro, 87,000! I'm like, damn. 87, <laughs> can I? Nigga, you haven't even been on Instagram in eons! Okay! And Libo wow. goes on. Yo, I think Libo was on 60 something. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let me check mine then. <laughs> Shit, it must be coming down. 7,000. Yo! Yo! That was the biggest. Oh, shit! <laughs> right? 7K. Uh -huh. So on day one, tell me like 87. I'm on 7. <laughs> There's no way, bro. He said, right. But he was. He was. Bro, you are stuck on five thousand in in like like for like a whole month flat for your own five. Damn. But it's because you didn't have anyone social media handle that yet, yeah. oh. and it makes sense now posted right. Mm -hmm. And even if I think I did have all of those things, I wouldn't have caught up to that right. Mm -hmm. But the issue there was that I, I immediately ran into comparison mode, right? Yeah, Instead yeah, of some shit, I wouldn't have You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. yeah. Now weeks later, I'm on seventy. Right, yeah. and it's just a constant thing of chasing. Yeah. Mm. Like, yo, I didn't post today. I have to yeah. post, guys. It's that's so, so annoying. True. And it's a thing. It's like, should sure. I post it in two days? That's why. That's, that's wrong. Sure, I'm losing followers. Let me. Right? And you know, sometimes it's not even you. It's not even you. Yeah. People will be like, bro, you don't post enough. Yes. 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 What's yes. posting enough, guys? Yes. You actually get people coming and saying, yeah. like, do you want to see more content? Like, no, you didn't tell us today what you ate. Oh. Guys. Oh, guys, that, that and that's not me, B. Like, that was never. Like, I don't want to get to a restaurant and first shoot the food. Mm -hmm. I want to eat that motherfucker. Yeah. That, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so, it's, 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 it's weird now. Uh, but obviously, I see that you can make money from it. So, I test yeah. a lot yeah. Yeah. You can't ignore it. Mm. Yeah. But I no longer am trying to. You remember when I saw I was like, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't get to 60. And then you get to six, you're like, I can't get to seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you get to seven, you're like, I can't get to seven. What? It's like a drug. When are you going to rest? And then a hundred is going to be too small because you're always going to be looking at other people that have a hundred. Yeah, like, that's uh, true. My mom's like, so it's, it's, it's what it is, man. Again, what Ricky said, it's a reflection of what is not really true. Mm. Um, 
But look, there's a lady that's supposed to be arriving here, but I think she's moving and shaking elsewhere. Uh, oh, she's outside actually. Oh shit. Yes, guys, yeah, but now tools you must understand with influenza now. Yeah, it's influenza. That's the thing. What that was what at twelve fifty. Oh, diggy. Why is I getting? Okay, she can. Okay, hopefully she'll come in. Diggy, this this is for, like evidence that we do not just forget you. Um, wait, let me just send her a voice note just to make sure she. She was outside. Like, okay, we'll like yeah. So Diggy, please just come in. Um, I think I did say that in the voice note. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're downstairs. downstairs. Yeah. <laughs> Reverse round the river what time the success guess I did too much when just like that we back baby it's the game I mentioned earlier on that we had a special guest joining us I said she was outside now she's inside, she's the mover, she's the shaker, but I don't want to be the one to say it, because she always says it best, please say it. <laughs> Hi guys, it's your girl Dia and Kewa Dinky, the Dinkinator, the mover, the shaker, the vibe creator, terminator, master of destruction. Hi ma, I'm not Hi ma. That sounds dangerous. It doesn't, yeah. It actually gives me that thing, like everybody just open the door, she's here, she's here, open she's the door. Yeah. Yeah. Dinky is dangerous though. <laughs> say that um look i want to say first of all shout out to you for being the first guest on the show yeah yeah um you know we want to start out with a bang mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and i think you are the mover and the shaker are we, well. are we i'm glad to be here guys <laughs> I, I, i've been hearing about the good work and i was like i definitely have to be part of this even if it's for two years seconds but i'm here shout out to it's me. gonna be for more than two seconds though hopefully. is it <laughs> <I'm not laughs> Cooking. That's exactly what I want to know from you, or we want to know from you. Like, you've been out the house how long now? Um, is it three months now? Three? It, it, it's it's over three three months. months. I think it has been three months. Sure. But I'm the first housemaid to be kicked out. Like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. So, I did the Hamurukwa, it was February. So, which month are we on? I think it's three March, months. March, yeah. April, May, June. Four. 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 Wow. Yeah. Four months. And time has been moving fast. It has right? been moving and the, and the account is just steady like this. It's ah, not elevating. Ah. The bank balance is just here. It's just doing bounce and up, bouncing down. You just don't know. I'm glad you say that because mm. when I went into the house, I think I had about three point something. Mm. I came out, I had about three point something. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> and from that three point something, it just kept uh, on, you know? <laughs> no. If I can tell you, when I went into the house, I didn't pay the rent for my shop. And when I came out, it was like due, like big time. And, and I was told that, um, you know what? It's either you leave or we're going to take everything that is in the oh. You understand? Yeah. And in Lapo, it's not like, it's, it's not every day when you go to Big Brother, you, you find yourself getting calls everywhere when you get evicted. It's not for everybody. Like, it's like a blessing type of thing. It's a luck. Some people want to work with you, some people want to collaborate, some you need to go and do a proposal. Mm. So I was one of those people whereby, you know what, things are not coming mm. and things are not happening, you understand? And that thing frustrates you. Mm. And once frustration starts kicking in, you get depressed. Your shop is, you, you're losing your shop, number mm. one. Something that was sustaining you, something that was feeding you, something that was just making you be able to be a mom, because I'm a mom, mm. you understand? So I lost my shop. Sure. Then I was like, you know what? The positive thing about it is that now I've got an audience. Mm. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So let me use it to my advantage. So now I'm selling online and I'm making more money than what I was doing when it was a physical oh, yeah, shop. Yeah, yeah. Wow. You understand? And I, I was I, I was able to even pay off that debt mm. because it was like I owed them 55k. Yo. Yeah. Yo, that's a heavy yeah, thing to come out to. <laughs> Yo. Yes, because you know when you leave the house, you leave somebody to be in charge. Mm. I've got a partner that I don't know how to put it because some people are going to say I'm speaking bad of him, but 
that there's this selfish mentality like everything <laughs> needs to be about me mm. he's minding his own business you went to big brother mm. you know so you had to sort out yourself so when i came back he was not administrating anything <sighs> he was just just even the votes like to even say vote for my babe vote for my wife no, he, didn't he, he didn't bother Yo, he didn't jealousy. bother yeah, no, but he's no, not, not I, yeah, like, you know what, what bothers me is that he's the one that came and said let's audition because you've been wanting because i wanted to go yeah. to nigeria for big brother Mm. He said you've been wanting to go to Big Brother, he has Big Brother, but now I'm back, things are falling apart and, and I felt, I know I was depressed. If, if you are on social media all the time, I'm sure you, you, you have seen a video where I was crying out for help. Mm. That day was the darkest day of my life mm. because that day my son couldn't have had a mom today. That day, I, <laughs> that day I, I own a gun mm. for business purposes. Mm not for private purposes, mm. I own a gun. And I kept, I kept playing with the gun. Mm. And I was drinking gin that mm. day, I was drinking gin heavy. Mm. And, and, and something was just too heavy on my shoulders. Mm. And I remember saying, you know what, I know social media people are toxic. Mm. Whatever that you do, they take it and change the narrative to their own understanding. Mm. But this time I'm reaching out. Because mm. I almost, nobody was in the house. I locked myself in the house. The mm. music was loud. But they, 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 I, I kept seeing myself as a failure, you know. I keep regretting, I kept regretting, like, why did I even go to the show? Because mm. now, now you're a public figure. Now people are, are looking at you. Now people are expecting you to do A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Like, why did I even bother? Because I was okay. Mm. If I was struggling, nobody knew who I was. It was only my my my, my struggle. Yeah. Now everybody knows your struggle. And then I started recording this video. Immediately I started getting calls from everybody, even the people that I never thought I would have a connection with or anything. Even some housemates. You know how it is. It's yeah. not like everybody's gonna like everybody. Yeah. You're just gonna coexist. But people started praying for me and praying for me. And they said, you know what you need to do, girl. Yeah. It's not even that you're depressed. You know exactly what you need to do. Mm -hmm. And I did exactly what I needed to do. And right now, my things are just shining. Shining. Wait, I, I, I just, I just yeah. feel like I just heard so much. It's, there's so much to yeah. take from that. Um, so, you get out the house, right? And your, your, your place is being taken away. Yeah. Um, and I think you mentioned that things weren't coming as fast as you'd wanted them to. They were not. Is that what led to the moment of you locking yourself up? To be up honest, thinking? to be honest, like, <laughs> yes. Because I'm a big fan of Big Brother. Mm -hmm. Biggest fan. Like, I will tell you the ins and outs. And when I went into the house, it is not what I imagined. It is not what I watched. Mm -hmm. The feeling was not what I thought it was going to be. The experience mm -hmm. was not what I, was, I thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. Everything was different. You know, when, you watch, when you're a big brother fan, every day, like all the time when a housemates get out, they super success. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Like, I'm talking Big Brother Niger now because we are the first people after a long break of, of Big yeah, Brother. Exactly. So obviously I'm talking about Big Brother Nigeria. A housemate will get out and, and companies will call. Mm. Call, you're already verified. Verification is also another thing that makes your, your resume be good out there mm. as far as digital marketing is concerned. Mm. Yeah. So here you're struggling like, in I, I just came from the biggest show. I'm still on 80K. What's happening? You understand? Imagine that. You just said, I'm still on 80k, right? Almost like 80k is small. Yeah. Do you know how many people will go crazy for that 80k? I, I do understand. I'm, that's no. why I'm saying, like, because you have watched Big Brother so mm. much, your mind is Big Brother Niger. Like, when I get out, I'll be on half a million followers. That's where you're you know, yeah. 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 So you are. Yeah. Only one that did this when Nale came out the house, she was on 100,000, right? Yeah. So I'm like, Nale, your following is huge on 100,000. She's like, uh, it's not what I was expecting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, uh, it's not what I was expecting. I think I, I had to like a, a huge expectation, you know, that's the thing. So yeah. She thought she was gonna be on four hundred thousand when she yes, left. Damn. And I guess because it's Nale, she's a model and all those things. Nale, Nale was on seventeen thousand, bro. She comes to hundred thousand she was. And it's not enough. Because of the expectations we had guys. Yes, the expectations were mm. just too much. You are expecting big companies to call you. Now you're the one that needs to slide in the DMs and say, say, brah, I was there, I'm here now, so mm. what are we doing? And they're like, please tell us whatever that you're doing, how many followers you have, and then shoot, 
one month, no response. Nothing. How are you not going to get depressed? We are, we, we, we are maintaining ourselves, we are supporting ourselves. There's no longer mommy, daddy, please pay my rent type of vibes, you understand? You are, you are a mother already, or if not, if you're not a mother or a daddy, you, you, you're already paying your own bills. And then, now, no, 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 two was talking about jail right now. They, said, yeah. they just said, do, 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 bill of 700 rand. Pay it now. Yeah. So if you're not doing anything, you are gonna fall under depression. And mine was hectic, but I thank God, Guti. People prayed with me, and people just started realizing that you know, Dinky, we thought you were a bad bitch. Mm. We thought you were a mean person. Mm. We just needed to chill with you. And you understand actually, you. Yeah. Yeah. and understand you. You actually the bad. Mm. But I understand that. I even went into the house knowing that people are not gonna like me because I have that mm. thing. And if you are easily intimidated and you're weak, and you're gonna fall for the trend. Yeah. Yeah. Look, I, I, I'll, speaking to that, I, and I don't want to speak too much about the house, yeah. right? You and I had our first Yo, go, out go, go. But Which I definitely want to touch on. Yeah, yeah. We, we, look, we have to, right? We to touch on that. And for me, I, I, I realized, and especially as a person that works in broadcasting, I've never watched the show, but I could feel already that there are certain narratives about yourself that you just cannot take control of. Yeah. Once it's been decided who you are, it's, so it's just gonna be that, yeah. and it's either you're gonna spend the rest of your time here trying to prove that you're not that person, mm. or in my case, I was like, okay, then I'm gonna take it and run with it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um. So it, it, I'm saying this to say this, even with you, already because you were the mover, it was like, okay, yeah. this is gonna be the girl who's gonna bring that. Yeah. Mm. And you did right and. How I see it is, if there's a girl like that, and I don't know how a lot of people think, but that's an opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. Right? This is now speaking about the game hot. That's an opportunity. Because if I can be the one who can possibly silence the most intense girl, mm. that's more followers. And people don't watch the show thinking how deep people think. Mm. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. It's like yeah. when... Again, I think it was you and, and I don't know who was fighting, but you and Nale ended up having an argument. You were saying, don't try and act as the therapist here, mm. right? <laughs> because, remember that? <laughs> because I think from your perspective now, in hindsight, it's like you could see that that's the position that you will now get. Yeah. Right? Mm. And people yeah. at home are like, oh, yeah. she's such a good person. Yeah. <laughs> Watches from such a naive perspective yeah. Yeah. because you're not in the house. Yeah. You don't yeah. know who's doing true. what, when, and whatever. Yeah. There's fights where you know this is a fake fight. But now, because you know, dude, as little as me chilling with Zeno and Zeno's looking cool, and it's hard for me to say that Zeno, you look good. Mm. Because whoever was listening to me, like, actually, has the Zeno guy. Yeah. And then it moves there. Yeah. Yeah. It's like you, you're constantly playing to the audience mm. yeah. and you're not in control because other characters are doing what they're doing yeah. so for you I think I immediately could feel that you are that woman that everyone fears right mm. from the men yeah, thing, to yeah. the whole yeah mm. and you own it as well imagine right and you're, I'm not even aware of that I'm just being myself at the time mm. in a rough way start. not even in a rough <laughs> way dude even when you were walking yeah <laughs> when I was walking with CSC I was like yeah you can see what you see, this one is not from that there. It's just the energy that you carry. It's not mm -hmm. even in a negative or bad way, but you have to think about it. You're in a house with 20 people. Those 20 people, as Big Brother would love to remind us, they will pay from a thousand. Yeah. 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 Right? <laughs> so from that thousand, there had to be something about each of us that would make you want to watch. And that was yeah. the thing for you. So for me, regardless of the fight, regardless of what was happening, mm -hmm. I was thinking, shit, now the most intense woman is taking me on. I can mm. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because the audience yeah. Yeah. is watching, and if yeah. I lose, I'll be that body from forever. For that, for forever. And that's how these yeah. things are. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and that's how that. It doesn't mean it's who I am or who mm. Dicky is. Mm. It's it's crazy. They so, put you in that situation. Maybe. Tell me about that fight between the two of you. Was it real? And also, I'd like for you to maybe chat about other fights which you know weren't real but they looked real like what were the fake Jeez. fights so, we'll talk about this we'll talk about this yeah. 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 answer it first please okay yeah. for me 
um, when I care for somebody, mm. I really care about you. Mm. Ask all my friends, your velos, your acacias, all the people that people are saying they are boring, they are my mates, they are my friend friends, because yeah. I know them, I know their intentions. People are just looking at them from a surface, we would say, yeah. Yeah. I'm just making an example with her because everybody likes to say she's aggressive, but she's the most coolest person ever. Mm. So when I care about you, I care about you. So ooh, when with tools, yeah. the first day, bruh, the first day we walked into the house, we were like this. Mm. We were like this. The smoking even made it worse. Yeah, but I was quiet. And that was the only one was for it was, it was, it was a it was, it was a white nation galore. We were smoking, having fun, and then he shifted and he moved and like he drifted away from me. And then he started conspiring with other people. It's a game. Yes. 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 People were in his ear. Okay. Mm, okay. In his ear. Yeah, we understand. Yeah. Everybody was in his ear. When they say this about a person, two would hate that person. And I've got that personality. I've, I've got that personality as well. Even in primary till now, I was that person. If you hate my friend, I hate you too. Okay. So uh, so so I'm I'm that I'm yes, that person myself. Yes. So I think we class based on personalities because manje, uh, let's say uh, for example, Zino would come like I don't like that. Which one? That thick one. You know, mm. she talks a lot and you know, where when she walks around in the house, she's like, she doesn't mm. like people. And then uh tools will be like in the morning not greeting me because of that conversation. No! Oh, my. <laughs> That's how <laughs> tools was behaving in the house and it no. irritated me. To an extent that you know what you know with us that um Africans, mm. we have this thing you you are just here. One it's mistake. Easy. Yeah. It's really nice. I'm on you. You understand? Perspective is so crazy. Perspective is yeah. so crazy. No, look, I, 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 if I don't like someone, I don't like them. Mm -hmm. If I like someone, I do. It's, it's, it's hard for you to convince me in a certain way. Yes, in the house, there were the one person that that might have been the case with was Gash, mm -hmm. right? Because the people I trusted the most started telling me not to mm. and then I jumped on that wagon and found my own reasons yeah, okay. with you I knew that you are dinky probably the craziest person in the house the wild card yeah, and, and crazy in the sense that you're gonna shake I mean you're the mover the shaker <laughs> not. Like, it, it, it's self explanatory right yeah. I think I, I, I the biggest problem I had with you is that I remember I was head of house in the first week and yeah. I think you had a problem with someone and you came to me and I was like yo I got your back, let's go to the brothers do this. Mm. And then a day later we had the fallout where I felt like, but you were attacking me. I, I'm the one person <laughs> that's got your back. <laughs> and now you were attacking oh, me. Yeah. Oh, do you know what I mean? And my personality in general, like I'm very trusting. And if mm. you break that trust, I go into boom mode. Mm. And boom mode means yo. Oh, no, I'm good. going in. Yeah, no, you, you know were in. Mean? You were in and I was gonna get disqualified because of you. Thank God I <laughs> I know I've got you at a certain place. Yeah. I have to do everything I can to get under your skin. Yeah. Because it's the game. Yeah. It's it's I, I know it sounds evil or whatever, but I promise but you. But the game is a game. The bro. game is a game. Yeah, yeah. It's not no, it's not like I woke up like I don't like. I will mean, bring irritator. Like the thought of you, your your sight, I, your I voice. And and, and, and and he was he was he was so fortunate and lucky in a sense your booty. Every challenge he, he wins it or something, but he's gonna dominate now. So we are literally gonna have to like yes. uh, our father who has to get it. And I'm like, hey, go. I'm, I'm, I'm talking to my girls and I'm getting out of the You understand? Like, see, I'm full and I'm full and I'm tired. Like, what must I do? Must we beat each other so that we both get disqualified? Because if I'm shy, so we shy back and we get both out. You understand? So I was, I, was, I was actually close to getting there. The time I, I called everybody for a meeting, mm. just to get the record straight of everybody saying, oh, bipolar this, mm. she's this and that and that. Mm. After that, I was saying to myself, should he try to say something in slide? I don't like him so too bad, mm. eh? So when people talk indirectly, I know them. Mm. Tools has this mentality of speaking. Guys, just make sure that you wash all the plates. I'm the one that just put the plate there. Oh, yeah. I remember you that. Understand. I remember that. Understand. Understand. But it's on purpose. It's on purpose because I, you know when you know you're skating on thin ice with someone. Yeah. So if I say, D, 
stinky, wash the plate, yeah. it's gonna go down. Yeah. So you would, you would generalize a guy yeah. just to show that he washed the plate. You'd be like, dude, who else I'm bored? Why are you talking to me? Mm -hmm. So I was telling myself that after that meeting, if tools, if I hear even with the fly saying, the tools is saying, zzz, zzz, upstairs. Yeah, sure. I'm getting disqualified. It's oh, okay. Shit. By the way, it's only one person that's gonna get the two million. Can you I'll get I'll get this um, thingy, I'll get um, evicted and, and it was okay. And I was at my happy place when I got evicted because I wanted to get out of the house. It was too mm, much. It was too much. Sure. It was crazy, man. That house will change you, yeah. man. It will literally play around with you. It did. And you know what, guys? If you think it was crazy, in the, 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 can you imagine the final week? Oh. No, you guys, yo, I know, you guys are strong. I always tell people that. You guys are strong. There's no TV, there's no radio. Mm. It's just and it feels spooky. Mm. To be it honest. Is spooky. It, yes. is, it is because because I watched um this show where Mpo uh, is was on, says Fili Lene. Yeah. And she mentioned this thing and I kept on saying it to my husband. And I had to show him that clip. I'm not the only one that was feeling that. Mm. We are 20, but 21. Mm. Can okay. I say something to yeah. that, right? That is a bit weird. It's so tricky in the sense that like the, the conversation around spirituality is tricky when it comes to that thing. Because we'll say we believe it, right? Mm. But then you, when you speak about something like that, all of a sudden it's quickly yeah, they are. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We believe in spirituality, we believe in spirits, right? Yeah. But as soon as you say there was a spirit there, how oh, many people give it's it? It's a big thing. It's like, a big who are you to talk about such well, things? Do you get what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Are you tarnishing the brand? Are you mad? I believe that, man. There were days where you can just feel like, this is for me, right? You can just feel that I'm... I'm being dead. Uh, yeah, something's about to go dead. Mm -hmm. And then a fight just breaks out of nowhere. Mm. Are you serious? I promise you. I mm. promise Even in bed, me and Tato would wake up, like, shocked. And then we'd stare into each other's eyes. And they'd be like, Tato. And then be like, why are you away? And then there's something on your body that makes you shiver. So, meaning that there's somebody in between. And that is why we invited Temba to sleep with us here because at least. So he could make it in bed. <laughs> what? Yeah. And also, beyond that, it could be that, or it could be just the fact that you're not living in a normal way. Your brain yeah, yeah, does yeah. not sleep. Yeah. I think we underestimated how much uh, effect of just being there was. Like you're waking up at a time that you're not used to, yeah. around people you don't know, you're sleeping at, at heaven only, yeah. Yeah, okay. you can't expect your yeah. brain to function normally, sure. you know what I mean? Sure. Um, but what I always say, man, just to end off the house conversation, because I don't want it to be about that, yeah. the show's over. Just uh, to answer my fight question, unless we're gonna, we're gonna let damn, that one slide. Damn, what was the fight question? Are we gonna let that one slide? Yeah, which one? Was it real or not? With the dinky one, real in the sense that I knew it had to happen. Because I was, this is what it is from my perspective. Yes. I'm speaking to the people and Dinky is checking me on something that I know is real. Mm -hmm. She was checking me on the, on the, stop speaking in general, come at me, yeah. right? Yeah. So, yeah. so okay. now it's a thing of, this is real because i got to defend me and my honor mm -hmm. as and a man. And people are watching you now. And people are watching me, this is a whole house. Okay. But real in the sense that I dislike Dinky? No. Mm -hmm. But for the purpose of... I that clean, <laughs> And my response was, are you from Nairobi? Go be a king. Yeah. How many? How many angry? <laughs> how many angry people do you know that say that? Mm. That's that's a punchline. Yeah. Already I'm thinking, yeah. okay, this is the first big fight. What did I think in my brain? Oh yeah. Are you You had to make everything about you? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because it's a performance now, right? Yeah. The fight of the day. Diggy and I know for a fact this is gonna trend. I know and people don't look at it. From that perspective. But then how is it gonna train place girls in jail? One day was a time I was twerking in the tail. And I knew that was gonna train too. <laughs> but that's the like people don't see how like look, I was in there trying to make sure that there's a reason somebody's talking about me. Yeah. yeah. And I felt like people around me were so gifted that it's easy to just fade away. To in fade the away. Yeah. Yeah, but they were scared of you. Majority. They will not admit um, it now. Because everybody now knows a pos your position as a person, Zeno's position as a person, Dinky's position, like, ah, I'm not the one I mean, I got my money and whatever, I got my fans. But in the house, are you were the Messiah. You but speak once and then <laughs> you are listen. Yeah. 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 I, thank you for that, but I'll be honest with you. Was it a compliment though? The best. No, hear me out. <laughs> The best figured me out. I, it, for me, it was a compliment because I felt like I had to be that person yeah. because I was H O H immediately. Mm. So I had to be that okay authority, whatever. But 
that shit was exhausting and it's not me. Mm. You know what I mean? Because already now that's the narrative, right? I told mm. us tools, man. Guys, I don't, I'm not on an HOH. It's oh, two weeks down, nice. but already now I'm the authoritative, whatever. Yeah, everybody was like, us tools. Yeah, what do you mean? The father of the house. Right? <laughs> and I'm not. You look down with me. You know what I mean? Like, it's, but you can't get yeah. away from it. But the, the people that lost it, they're the longest. Yeah. Figured it out. Mm. Okay. Temple would never allow me to say anything. He cut me immediately. Because mm. he can see the social dynamics of it. Yes. Part of the reason why he did so well is that he sat in that chair and he watched everyone before doing anything. Mm. So by the time he was doing things, he'd already studied you. Mm. And he knows that you know, when you say this, smart. he's going to do that. Mm. Very smart. Mm. Very smart. Very smart. Mm. And that's what it was, man. How good you are at manipulating everyone and yourself. Yeah, um, you played it well. You played it well. You never had stress. There was no anxiety of having to wake up, um, bath every Sunday and put um, nice clothes because now Lawrence Malema yeah, is going to come up and say, can the nominated housemaid stand up? You, you are blessed and that is something that you should carry forever. It's got, it's, nobody's going to erase it. It's, sure. it's there forever, it's on internet forever, it's a record and I don't think there's any other housemate who's going to play it better. Even on Big Brother and Canada, wherever, you are the first person <laughs> wow. to actually reach that. that level. You need to carry that and you need yeah. to tell people that I am tools. Yeah, okay. The only housemate that was never nominated. You know sure. what, it's, uh, thank you for that. Um, I hope it was a compliment. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> do you know why it's hard to carry, to be honest with you? Is mm. the certain things I had to do yeah. to be able to achieve that thing. Mm. Mm. It is hard to to really lift it up and say, yeah, because I had to I did some wicked things to be able to do that. Anyway. Mm. You know, and I'll be honest. See, I spoke about it I think in the last episode. Not yet, no. So cool, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> not evil, not evil like yeah, no, me so yeah, yeah, no. yeah, no. But yeah. Like, for me I feel like it's evil to manipulate people. Mm. Zeno's gone, everyone is still, yeah, Zeno. I would always stand back and be like, I'm not gonna use this to my favor. <laughs> okay, who's Zeno for here? Why have time to Zeno? <laughs> okay. Guys, they got Zeno out of this house. Yeah. He's gonna go. But yeah! yeah. 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 <laughs> you see, that's manipulation, right? Yeah. And all I'm yeah. thinking is, yo, next week I could be nominated. Mm. And I'm still I know you played it. You see what I mean? Yes, I know. But that's not, so because of that, and the lying, and the cheating, and and literally the steaming. <laughs> yeah. It, it it doesn't sit nice. And not a lot of people are able to look at it and be like, yo, bro, you played it. Mm -hmm. You can say that because you were from the inside. Yeah. People from the outside, or most of them, right? Not even most. Some of them are so in love with the other characters that they feel like they can't love you and not hate you. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. They won't understand that mm -hmm. I can chill with you have a drink because of that fight but, that we had. Yeah, yeah. 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 Sure. that's true. And it's that's a conversation we had and yeah. people are still there. Yeah. And yeah. 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 Two hours yeah. like, yeah. what's up? We're having a yeah. yeah. chip. They would get angry right now. No, no. they won't put that on me. Yeah. Because like, I kept on telling people that like, should there be a reunion, you know, huh? Once he's sitting there and he's like talking to Lawrence, Tools. I think so. Keep it here. Nothing you keep it on. I think you're so glad, bro. Yo, I was like, yo. Let it all come to the reunion. I'm gonna beat him. Ah, even that. Uh, it was beef. It was beef. <laughs> but what I'm happy about is when they are that angry, it means I performed it down to you. Did. You did. You did. I performed it down to the mother. Mm, that's so true. true. You did. I'm gonna walk into a house and have it. I don't know any of these people. Yeah. But if I gotta play a story in a certain way, trust yeah. and believe, son, when it's time to argue, we're gonna argue. But okay, enough about the house. Yeah, I actually wanted uh you know, the of we were talking earlier on about the whole fake until you make it, the pressure from social media. Yeah. Yes. And you remember you tell you were talking about depression and all of that, but is it because of social media as well? The pressure to live this life that you really didn't have? No, it was not based on social media. Um I control my people, number one. Okay. If you're my fan, you're my fan. And if you're a person who's just there to get some news to write on blogs or YouTube, whatever, I know those type of people. I, I, I kind of have a relationship with my people. I interact with my people. So um, they know the kind of life I live. I almost go to life almost every day. They know the house I'm living in. Mm -hmm. If I'm eating cabbage, I'm eating cabbage. I've been eating cabbage. Yeah. Me going to the house now, all of a sudden I have to be eating caviar. Mm. Does it make sense? It doesn't make sense. So I'm living my life the way I'm living it, but the expectations were bigger deals. Mm. You understand? Big Brother for me was an opportunity. Mm. Big Brother for me was like 
changing my resume, was, was making me be seen, be heard, even other nations. A, a beauty product might just call me and say, darling, we like your skin, we would like to work with you. But it's the other way around, so that thing gave me depression because I thought I was going to be a millionaire even if I don't win mm, the million. Mm, Do you understand mm. what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. You know what, just to add to that, I think for me the biggest thing that it taught me was, yes, it's an opportunity, yes, it's a leap of faith, but it's just to, this is how I take it. It's just a stamp of, yeah, you are everything you are. Yeah. Right? Mm. And you've always been that even before getting there. Yeah. So even when you get out of there, you've got to believe it and not measure yourself to anyone else because you are a star for a reason. Yeah. Whenever we're told there was a thousand, yes, there was a thousand, mm. and we were picked. Yeah. Mm. Not by mistake, but because yeah. there's something that we got. Yeah. So, mm. This is something I wanted to do. Like, yeah, there was a thousand, nigga, but you chose me. Yeah. I wanted to yeah. say that, but I couldn't say. It. Reverse round the river, what time to success? Guess I did too much. When I'm not gonna talk about, but Chanel always promising I'm gonna be too much there. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna be too I'm much. Too much. <laughs> hey, yeah. too much. And, oh. and there's a lot. Um, uh, there's some people that I'm working with, and they are doing the most for me. I've got a skincare. Uh, it's not my skincare, mm -hmm. but it's a deal that I've got, nice. and majority of ladies are using it already. Nice. So my job is just to say. Just to be there. And the face again. Yeah, yes. Yes. Okay. So let's just um you guys taught me a lot and, and, and I always I always I follow everybody from the house and also other influencers and celebrities and I learn the ones that I follow is the ones that I learn from. Mm. So me having conversations with you meant a lot because I know that there is a lot that we can do as people and why am I allowing other people to just tell me that don't speak to tools, he was mean to you, who are they? We need to push, we've got talent, we've got skills. I, so I learn a lot from people and there is a lot, which is in the that is me. So people are going to see more of me and a different side of Dinky because people know the rules. So, uh, mm. like, Hi guys. Hi. <laughs> they think they know Dinky. They think they, they know and no they idea. don't. Yeah, yeah, they have no idea at all. But then I'm very glad that you guys gave me, afforded me this opportunity. Like, am I the really, really the first person? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is what you guys say to your guests. Like, no. Because believe it or not, I relate a lot to what you just said. Mm -hmm. People having an idea of who they think you are. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I still get people asking me why I jack Terry's ribs. Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> I'm working now, B. You know, ask me about ribs I digested months ago, you know? So I, I, I relate a lot to people thinking they have an idea. <laughs> Dog! Do you know how many ribs I've had since then? But I, I relate so much to you, and even when I saw your video, uh, I was like, "Yo, thank you, mm, fuck, okay, this is real." Yeah, you know. And weeks later, I caught myself in the same. In the same way. position. But here we are, I've been. I'm not like, I, to to hey. <laughs> I had one little gangster tear, yeah. and I wiped it off. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I can see that this thing is 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 is, is heavy. Oh and yes, be so speaking of that, man. Yeah? We are having a project with a uh, fellow house, um, ex housemate of Big Brother Niger, yeah. uh -huh, about some th things that are around those lines. So, if you also want to tour with us to make people be aware that even men go through this thing, uh -huh. men are not just coming yeah. here. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Uh, for sure, for sure, because uh -huh. really we 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 are we are communicating. We'll make that one happen, but it's something that even the government in Nigeria is funding. So, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, I still have no. Do you, why you, got Do you know how many, how many big brother people are following me? Almost majority of them are mm -hmm. because 
my video did something to people mm. my video did something it, it, it was not a south african thing it was a global thing yeah. people go through things every day yeah. so you yeah. see your team you think my life is figured out even me i cannot own, figure out my own life yeah. and it, it, it comes to a point where it's heavy and it's hectic sometimes you just cry alone sometimes you don't even feel like bathing mm. sometimes you don't even have appetite but you can feel that you're hungry mm. you oh. understand oh. Sometimes your, 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 your child is like saying, mom, this, you feel like slapping the shh out of the baby, but the baby didn't do anything. Yeah. So you are depressed, like you are dead internally. Mm. So people must not say, I know Dinky, Dinky is aggressive, Dinky is rude. You don't know me. Yeah. You never even have five minutes of your precious time to sit with me and mm. figure me out. So that's what I'm trying to say. Let's just try to fix the world. Yes, it's yeah. exactly almost like what Zeno was saying, that don't... Don't be so quick to 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 want to chill with people that you look up to yeah. because you will be disappointed. They will let you oh, yeah. 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 All of us are yeah. human, yeah. so people who are looking up to you, mm -hmm. they shouldn't expect you to be some sort of god. Like mm -hmm. we're all humans. I like that. I I, I, I I had so much fun, even though I didn't have my Geniana. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you're the first guest, so you're still experiencing the problems of. You know, <laughs> Of TV, but they episode eight. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then I don't think that your show should be focused on that because already there are people who are doing it. Mm -hmm. It's okay the way it is. Mm -hmm. To be mm -hmm. honest, there are, there are shows and podcasts that are already doing the let's display this and that on the table. Unless it's bringing the show some money, it's good. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. No, I'm just saying that. that. Mm -hmm. Let it not be like a thing. Would be like okay, we need to be display. It's, it's okay the way yeah. it is. Yeah. We are yes. I, I, you I, I, need I, unique. Unless they're paying us, mm. then yeah. Yeah. yeah man, your soul food tasted really good today, man. Uh, and not like in a literal sense. I don't mean chicken. <laughs> or that. I mean soul food, man. <laughs> Emotional food. You yeah. know what I mean? It's been the game, Dicky. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank um, you. Yeah. I don't know who guest number two is gonna be, but yeah. <laughs> hey, you better bring the fire. Mm -hmm. All the best on your journey, man. Thank Stay you. amazing. Um, look, if they do Big Brother Africa, let's go fight there again. Bro, we are definitely doing that. Yeah, we're definitely doing that. Thank you guys for having me. It was uh, it was a nice experience. I'm super glad. I'm still gonna take some pictures because yo, the studio is proper blazing. These yeah. Am Studios is home, oh, yo. So I'm still gonna take some pictures and just show them on the gram. We even have like a uh, boogie lady ally, the gorgeous. Mm, yeah, diffuser here, like most schools, like, it doesn't smell bad. Subscribe, do all the YouTube things. It's like subscribe, it's really like, cool. comment, subscribe. You know, and hit share the notification it. button. Let's go. Make sure that you share, it. please. Make sure that you share your gold D I K Y Dinky, the Dinky Nature, the Mover, the Shaker, the Vibrator, the Terminator. I was in the easy for the reason. Oh my yes, goodness! We out. <laughs> Reverse round.